If you've been RVing for a while, you may be ready to up your game. We may have the answers for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and you know the rest. And live amazing, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> well, you'll definitely live amazing once you become a seasoned RVer. Yeah, we were just talking about how clunky we felt when we first started this lifestyle. And there is definitely a learning curve to it. There really is. And so in this video, we're going to share with you our favorite upgrades. These upgrades will bring you from a newbie to a seasoned RVer and you'll really feel like a pro. And the first upgrade is the mattress. If you buy a new RV, uh, no matter how much you spend, you're probably going to want to replace the mattress. You could spend a couple hundred thousand dollars, even like on a motorhome, and the mattresses are horrible so i bought a new grand design fifth wheel but it could have been by any manufacturer and this is before paul and i met i did not replace the mattress well within three weeks i had a body sized divot i mean that mattress was so uncomfortable that i did replace it and we took that mattress with us when we bought the 310 together now we have upgraded again because i had back surgery and it was definitely time we have a brooklyn bedding aurora mattress it's like sleeping on a cloud i was a side sleeper for many years but once i switched to sleeping on firm mattresses i found that i couldn't sleep on my side anymore i would wake up with a sore shoulder or, or even a sore back because the way my back would twist when from laying on my side. But now with this new Aurora mattress, I can sleep in any position I want. Now I thought, well, after having the surgery and just, you know, getting older, that it's normal to wake up with aches and pains. Well, guess what? With the right mattress, I mean, and you know how important it is to have the right mattress, how important it is to have good sleep. So we're really excited about our Brooklyn bedding mattress and they make it so easy for RVers. And in fact, they're, they are a mattress company for RVers. Yep. They come with like five different sizes of king so you can get a short king you can get an rv queen and different comfort levels too and the best thing is they have a 120 night guarantee yes they do and and we actually ha had to use that because going from the firm mattress that we had we didn't want to jump to comfort levels so we went with the medium and we found that it was still just a little bit too stiff so we went with the with the soft mattress the aurora and it like i said earlier it's like sleeping on a cloud so brooklyn bedding lets you have a mulligan so if you, they'll work with you if you're not getting the right mattress they will help you find the right mattress and in fact they even have some guidelines because what kind of mattress you need depends on what kind of sleeper you are how much you weigh and a couple other things so the guideline is very helpful if we would have followed that guideline from the beginning <laughs> we would have had the soft mattress and we wouldn't have had to exchange so take a look at that that chart it, i think you'll be happy with what you get so shipping is always free from brooklyn bedding and let's talk about insulation and what it took yeah it comes in a, a big box rolled up wrapped in shrink wrap when you unwrap it it puffs up and it puffs up pretty quick <laughs> it comes with a 10-year warranty and we have partnered with brooklyn bedding we want to thank them so much for sponsoring this video you get 20 percent off by using our special link yeah so happy dreams <laughs> sweet dreams our next favorite upgrade is the rv lock now we can <laughs> what i don't know <laughs> you're side-eyeing me <laughs> <laughs> Our next favorite install is the RV lock. Now we can always spot seasoned RVers because they'll switch out that lock so they can use a keyless entry. I mean, you think about it when you're camping, you're in and out all the time. If you have a dog, you're walking your dog. <clears throat> the RV lock, you just enter a code and it opens and it even comes with a remote on some of them so that you can get in and out with just a push of a button. Yeah, and it's very easy to install. It's, a, it, it's probably the easiest 
modification you're going to do that requires a tool and the tool is just a screwdriver yeah so it's just literally you're unscrewing your old one and screwing on the new one and and then you have to program it but it's it's very simple and there's an option where you can have it give you a sound when you lock and unlock it yeah i prefer to have the sound on i just like a confirmation that i know that my button push actually did something <laughs> and that it's locked now we have the rv lock in our amazon store check it out make sure that you buy the lock that's right for your camper your trailer so the longer that you rv the more you will realize that some of the prettiest spots don't have sewer hookups like none of the county parks none of your national parks all the you know pretty much all the all the state parks are sewer hookup free yeah, they will have dump stations, but they don't have a sewer in the site. So you're going to have to either break camp and move your whole rig up to the dump station and dump it, which takes probably, with two of us doing it, we could probably do it in two hours. Um, when you were solo, you said it took you three? It took me three. I timed it. So it's a real pain in the butt. Now, another way, and you've seen people do this, where you just get the tote. But what Paul does, Paul's method is even better than that. Yeah, I was using just the tote method and towing it on my, you know, on the put it on the hitch and, and tow it to the dump station. And But what I've done now is I've got a macerator that I put on the outlet of the rig a one inch hose that runs from the macerator to the tote that I put in the back of the truck. I don't have to worry about going five miles an hour. I can go the 10 or 15 miles an hour that they allow you to do in most campgrounds. Oh, and if you're interested in trying boondocking, you may have to go miles to, to dump your tote. So you'll really want this method. The, the great thing about it is there's no heavy lifting and it's faster, right? Right, yeah, you're lifting an empty tote into the back of the truck and you're filling it while it's in the back of the truck and then you're dumping it from the back of the truck. So you're never lifting a full tote and, and quite frankly, I couldn't if I wanted to. Yeah, because it's like 240 pounds or At something. At least, with that one inch hose, I can fill the tote in about just a little under three minutes, it's full. So that, usually in about 40 minutes, you've got two trips done. Yep, I'm done. Well, you can find the macerator pump, the extra wide hose, and the adapter for that extra wide hose in our Amazon store. Definitely check it out. It's a game changer. We do have another video that's more in depth if you want more information on this macerator modification. Including the installation. Our next upgrade is so important. Honestly, if you get just one of these, it should be this. This is Th the one. This yep. is the one. This is a safety thing. It's called TPMS, a tire pressure monitoring system. And we know all about that. Why? Yeah, well, we had a flat on the Golden Gate Bridge and we didn't know it. We also have a flat tire. What? Yes. So oh. if there's air here, we've got to, we have a, oh, we have a flat no. tire. For a while, there's mud all around it. It's oh, sh now, a lot of people say, oh, I don't need a tire pressure monitoring system. I check the tires before a trip. We did. Yeah, we did. And, and I checked during a trip. Yep. I don't need it because I checked during a trip. We did. We did that too. You cannot constantly monitor your tires that way. You never know when you're going to go over a screw and you start having a leak and you do not want to have a blowout pulling a trailer or if you've got a motor coach and you're pulling a car. And why don't you want that? Well, well you certainly don't want to blow out because of the cost. I mean, if we bl have a blowout on any one of our four tires, it's going to be thousands of dollars to, to repair, probably, especially this side because the, the kitchen's over here. Yeah, it takes the side part of the trailer out on a blowout. I mean, it takes it. Well, our tires are under the slide, so it's going to do a lot of damage to the to the underside of this slide. Well, we had a camping neighbor who had a blowout and it took his truck and rig into a guardrail and he had major damage along the full side of his trailer. Yeah, yeah. So it is no joke. The great thing about a TPMS system, we are using TST trucks, mm -hmm. which is the number one, the best one that we could find out there. It has an alarm. You can set the pressure. You can set the alarm to go off yep. at certain times. Yep. And we have a 15% discount for you use our special link to get the best prices and to save 15 percent 
Yeah, th like Liz said, this is the number one modification. If, if you don't do anything else that we're talking about, make sure you get a TPMS system on your rig. You want to be safe. So tell us in the comment section what your favorite upgrade was that you did to your rig. And we will see you in the next video. Okay, shut it off. Oh, turn, turn it off.